Today we're going to be learning about short story structure. Short stories are traditionally designed to be read in one sitting. The three characteristics of short stories are they're carefully created, they are compact, and unified. The elements of a short story include setting, plot, theme, and characterization. Plots are created around conflict and usually follow a predictable pattern. So our vocabulary terms for this lesson are plot, and those are the events that make up a story. The conflict, and that's the fight or the struggle that the characters go through. Diction is the word choice that the authors use. Characterization is the way that an author describes a character through their thoughts, actions, or feelings. And then you have exposition, which is that background information on setting and characters that you find at the beginning of a story. Rising action are those events that create suspense and interest and make that tension. You have climax, which is that really high point of the story, and that's the most exciting and dramatic moment. Falling action comes right after the climax, when the main story problem is resolved, and then it finishes up with the resolution and the resolution of the conflict in the plot. So here are our five main points of a short story. So let's look at them a little more in depth. The exposition is the part of the story and it's known as the introduction or maybe the backstory. And the author uses it to introduce the characters and conflict and to develop the setting. The backstory can be given through dialogue with characters, flashbacks, or narrative commentary where the narrator directly tells us about the background of the characters. It's at this point in the story that the story arch is at its lowest point. Then we have rising action, and without this rising action, there isn't going to be any climax. The action starts to rise when the conflict introduced in the backstory begins to get more complicated and intense. All stories must have at least one kind of conflict in order to be complete and interesting. Some stories, though, may have a variety of conflict and one central conflict. There is the climax, and it's at this point, this is the high point of the story arch. It's the most exciting or dramatic moments. Without the climax, the story has no purpose or drama, and it is literally the best part of the story, the part that everything is leading up to. You have your falling action, and at this point, the character begins to deal with the consequences of the climax. And then the resolution. This is where the central conflict is resolved. You know, the characters live happily ever after, and they run away to join a circus, or they find some other way to solve their conflict. And we can chart each of these parts as a point on the graph. The story arch usually forms a triangle, and that means that the action starts at a low point and steadily builds to a high point, and then it drops steadily to another low point. So it can look like this, where we have a regular size exposition, a nice steady climb, the climax, and a nice steady falling action. Or it could look like this, where we have a longer backstory, a longer exposition, maybe a little bit more dramatic of a rising action, and then a really fast fall in the falling action to the resolution. Or it could look like this as well, where we have a regular size exposition, and then we have a lot of bumps and twists and turns in the rising action to the climax, and then a fairly fast falling action to the resolution. If you need just a little bit more help, there is this Ed Puzzle video for you to watch.